What is going on, Jerome's? Undisclosed location, raw, real, rant time. So, Justin Friggin Jefferson is obviously the most valuable non quarterback in the league. Uh, and a, a lot of like social media starts to doing like, who is your team's MVP besides the quarterback and all that stuff? And thank you for the Vikings, obviously. Obviously, uh, it's Justin Jefferson. But who is the Vikings MVP outside of Kirky Woodrum, Ezekiel Cousins, as well as Justin Friggin Jefferson this year? And I had to think about it because. You, th you go down the line. Hawkinson should be a top three fancy tight end, uh, if not higher. He's obviously going to be in the mix. Christian Derrissaw, I think, is going to send the heights and become one of the best uh, young left tackles in the game. But who else? As they're emptying the garbage can. Mm. Maybe that's a metaphor for the Packers this season. Ah, got him. But defensively, uh, I think the Vikings defense has to improve. Where Kirk and JJ and the offense... They can't carry this team and drag the ass along like they did last year. Just you could say it's unsustainable, but it's it's a lot of pressure to be putting on that side of the ball. But defensively, they're going to get after that ass. That's that's why that's right. We said that we're super hyped about Flores. Uh, either way, they're going to be blitzing the living bejesus out of people. Last year, just way too passive, sitting back, uh, watching life happen. That's what Donna Shell was, and. I actually do think that the team MVP outside of Kirk, outside of JJ, could and should be Daniil Hunter. Now, yes, there's a lot of moving parts there. Hopefully, Daniil Hunter and the Vikings kiss and make up. They work something out for at least this year. Maybe it's another Band-Aid contract. Who knows? But I, I think that Daniil Hunter and Brian Flores' defense has a chance to be an absolute force. Where Flores is fantastic at putting his best players in the best spots to succeed. Whereas it felt like last year... Daniil was sort of sort of lost the first half of the season in the Donna Shell defense, being a stand-up outside linebacker, uh, getting his feet wet, all, all that stuff, where maybe it should have been a slower progression, you know, using his uh, strong side hand that are defensive end skills a little bit more and more. But I have full faith uh, under Flores this year that once 99 gets in there, he's going to be a problem for opposing offenses. And you know, last year, by hook or by crook, like squeezing blood from a stone, Daniil got 10 and a half sacks, leading the team. He was second on the team in pressures. And I do think that if, if Daniil gets into camp and he's able to integrate in the Flores defense, I think that he has a chance to really, really shine. Because Flores' defense uh, is all about making the other team break, about bringing pressure from a lot of different places, whether it be linebacker, whether it be corner, and especially safety. And I think that the additional heat and the confusion up there is going to allow Daniil to have a lot of one-on-one -on -one spots and really rack up and stack up those sacks. Like, it wouldn't shock me at all if Daniil plays uh, a full season, uh, if he is able to, uh, able to top his career high of 14 and a half sacks, which he had in back-to-back -back years, 2018-2019. Uh, so I'm super fired up. And I truly believe that Daniil Hunter... If he wants to run it back with the Vikings one more time, or if the Vikings extend him long term, I think he's a chance to be an absolute star uh, in the Flores defense. So that's my pick for non-QB, non-JJ uh, MVP uh, of the Vikings. Uh, who is your pick? Uh, let us know in the comment section below, but that's all. Anyways, Skull, no production value.